Hey Leo, I hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the second half of November 2021. And it is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. Of course, you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. All right, Leo, let's see. Oh, we got two here. All right, we have tribe and we have grief. Okay, so definitely somebody is feeling a lot of grief, possibly when it comes to family or when it comes to a particular person that they felt was like family, that was like a part of their tribe. Um, it, it's almost coming in as somebody trying to also move away from other, other situations possibly. Um, we'll see. Let's get into this and see what this is about. But somebody is really feeling a sense of loss here. Like they've lost their tribe. So let's see, Leo. This could be you or it could be the person that you're dealing with. Or a person you're dealing with. Alright, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs last half of November. Let's see. All right, starting off the reading, we have the sun. All right, that's you. Crossed by the five of wands. Hmm. We'll see. All right, recent past, we have the ace of wands. In your future, the eight of pentacles. In your energy, the ten of pentacles. For them, the queen of pentacles. More about you is the Emperor, for them, Temperance, and potential outcome here. We have the Five of Cups. All right, Leo, let's see. What is going on here? Um, you're trying to stand in your power. I feel like, you know, it, it's like happiness is, is there. It's like lurking. It's like right around the corner. But there is just so much conflict that is going on that it's kind of um, keeping you from being able to get there course could be your person again the rules can be reversed um, yeah in the past there was a lot of passion and I feel like maybe something began to either ignite or reignite but I don't know I'm getting the sense that it hasn't worked out very well just yet otherwise there wouldn't be this grief um, for you, I feel like you're just really focusing on your, on your stability, possibly with finances or just your, your environment. I also feel like this Ten of Pentacles is also you wanting a commitment with this person. We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. For them, we have the Queen of Pentacles and Temperance, okay? So we do have... Earth sign showing up as well as Sagittarius energy. Some of you might even be dealing with another Leo. We also have Aries showing up here. Um, yeah, this is somebody who is really trying to find their balance, really trying to heal and find themselves. That's all I can say at the moment before we clarify. I, and there's also some effort that is coming up, somebody putting work into something. So again, we'll see what that is. But it feels like there's still a little bit of a sense of loss here um, at the end of this month. But let's see, all right? Potential outcomes, they're just potential outcomes. This is sometimes just a precaution and we do have control, right, over certain aspects. And we can shift our part of the energy at least. So let's see, let's clarify the sun, crossed by the five of wands. One sec, as I dropped a card. All right, the Ten of Pentacles, again, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, it could be that you are really, again, it's just coming in as really focusing on your on the material, on what is going on in your in your life right now, either financially or just um, on a practical level. I feel like you're really trying to get that 
situated and I almost feel like this may be this may even be a form of distraction for you again roles can be reversed okay this could be your person but let's see let's see that kind of kind of ways for you All right, the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. All right, I feel like some of you are thinking about making a move here for this connection. You're thinking about what it is that you could do, if there's any action that you could take because you do want commitment with this person. And I feel like you're really thinking about what it is that you, how you can go about it, like how much should you give, how much should you not give, how much should you disclose how honest should you be how upfront should you be I feel like you're not really sure about how it's going to be received Let's see the Emperor We have the Death card, the Nine of Cups, and the World. What is going on with you, Leo? Because <clears throat> I feel like on the one hand, you're thinking about what can you do to revive this and how much can you give, and then on the other hand, On the other hand, it's like it's the complete opposite. It's like you feeling like this is done, like it's over. And feeling like you can never be happy again, almost. So I feel like actually this is a lot of conflict that's happening within your own self. Like where on the one hand, you want commitment with a particular person, so you're trying to move in that direction, trying to figure out how to go about it. And then on the other hand, because... Um, that can be a little bit um, nerve-wracking it's almost as if then you tell yourself no no you know this is done this is done like what am I even thinking huh let's see what's going on with this person let's see the Queen of Pentacles Right, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. All right, this person is trying to break free from something here. This person is trying to break free from something that they've been they have been holding on to. I feel for quite some time and that has been keeping them almost stuck or trapped and this is something it could be anything okay for some of them it could be another commitment another relationship it could be a job it could be a way of thinking it could be a belief it could be um, conditioning family values um, it could it's going to be different for everybody so it's not something specific here but this person is really trying to break free from that I do feel like it is a little bit difficult for them because they're overanalyzing it, but they are really trying to work on their sense of self-worth very, very strongly here. I feel like they are doing that, um, but it's just that this person might be a little bit stubborn when it comes to really feeling like they're trapped. So it's like they're, they're, making, they're making some progress, but then at the same time, you know, they can beat themselves up, like um, just being stubborn, like, no, there is no solution. No, I can't do this. But overall, though, they are making that progress. It's just, if it's taking time, which I do feel like it's taking time, especially with temperance being here, it's because it's because of that stubbornness, like holding on to, to certain fears or negative talk within their own minds. Let's see temperance. The King of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Oh, yeah, this person is really trying to find some kind of a balance, some kind of 
a healing, trying to make some kind of a decision, trying to really, I feel, um, take their stance when it comes to other people, especially towards something where there has been a commitment to. So I feel like whatever it is that they're trying to become independent of, which yeah, for a lot of them, it definitely could be, you know, something like a marriage, all right, with this four of wands. Um, there's a lot of conflict there with whatever that is. And that could be the tribe and it could be this person actually, uh, that's actually what I'm getting, is that <clears throat> the initial cards that we got, tribe and grief, is mostly for your person here. You might be feeling this grief as well, but I feel like it's more specific here to this other person. Feeling grief when it comes to a particular group of people, could be a family, could be a marriage, could be even, it could be work, okay? I'm not going to exclude that. Um, but it's, it's a high level of commitment, whatever that is, and there's a lot of conflict there. And this person is trying to gain clarity over that. They are trying to find some kind of some kind of a balance within themselves, some kind of a temperance, exactly. Um, when it comes to the way that they see it and how they're thinking about it, they're trying to think logically. So I do feel like they have clarity over the conflict that this is creating for them. And I feel like actually this is, uh, this is um, inhibiting them from their own happiness as well. So that's not just you. For you, it could just be... I feel like for you, it's this back and forth um, when it comes to, should I make a move or, you know, should I just accept that this is done? But it's like together with that accepting that it's done, I feel like you're feeling like you can never, you can never um, find fulfillment again. And so that's what's keeping you from being happy right now. All right, let's see that Eight of Pentacles. And you know, I mean, with the, the message here, before I even talk about this Eight of Pentacles, the message here for you is that don't, don't worry so much about the future. Don't think about the future and whether you can be fulfilled, you know, with another person or not. You're not there yet. The future isn't here yet. You don't have to worry about that. And if you, it's okay to believe that, but don't allow that to, you know, really hold you back from, other things in your life right now okay because you don't know what's in the future maybe things will eventually work out with this person if they don't then you know there's a reason for that maybe you would not have been as happy as you think okay for some of you and then for others of you it definitely you know you never know things can actually work out or you might actually be able to find that fulfillment point is there's no point in worrying about that now you know, just focus on the present moment, focus on what is happening in your life right now, and just take it day by day. You don't need to draw conclusions about your happiness. You can find happiness in other ways. Your happiness cannot just depend on one person. All right, I almost forgot that I got these cards here. All right, so for the near future, Eight of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you know, I feel like there is some movement here. There is some movement towards towards love. Somebody is putting in effort and this effort might be a little bit inconsistent. It might be a little bit back and forth, but it is coming from a place of love and it is coming from a place of intuition. So that's actually pretty positive here. Whether it is you or them, it doesn't even really matter. This is movement towards towards love regardless and somebody, you know, working on this in the right way. All right, so let's see, let's see the final card here, that Five of Cups, because I'm telling you, I feel like that is you if you stay in this kind of mentality, which you don't have to. I mean, you can if you want and just, you know, allow yourself to go through the process. You know, if it's just temporary and it will be temporary okay i promise you that it will be temporary all right we have the three of cups the king of pentacles and the six of swords yeah so this is this is feeling some grief which is what we had up here as well feeling a sense of loss right because it feels like there's this movement away from commitment and from a, from a reunion. 
Um, again, you know, I'm just gonna just go back to what I said before, the message that was coming through as guidance for you, okay? Because this is not, this is not the forever and ever outcome. This is just for, it's meant to be until the end of November, which of course time is relevant. So yeah, um, I feel like that's, that's what that is saying here. If you don't want to be, you know, um, social right now and going out and, you know, doing other things, that's totally okay. You know, you have to take your time. I do see this, like I said, I do see this person putting an effort and working in the right direction, right? Making that progress. But you can't just, <clears throat> you know, sit around waiting and being in this energy until, until they're done doing whatever it is that they're doing to work on themselves, pretty much. And I feel like the message for you here as well is to kind of, you know, let the past be the past be in the present and just know that, you know, there is going to be um, light at the end of the tunnel here, right? The Six of Swords is always moving towards the sun, moving towards calmer waters. And so I do feel like, you know, that is where you can go regardless. And then whatever happens, happens. And definitely a reconciliation is definitely possible here. So yeah, Leo, that is what I have for you. So let's Close this out with a final oracle message for you, if this resonated. And if it did, please do give me a thumbs up. All right, and we have the new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. So yeah, I feel like this is all about, you know, just taking that time out that you need for yourself. Take that time out for yourself, meditate, um, you know, think about whatever it is you want to think about as long as you just don't let it <laughs> get completely out of um, control in your headspace. So yeah, that is it, Leo. I thank you so much for watching and much love.